Music Production is fun. from Munich, Germany and I would like to teach you today week one at the course Introduction to Music Production at Coursera.org I will be teaching you today this course is a typical recording of a signal flow and I will use my gear at my home studio ok let's look now into the elements in the home recording studio this is the microphone Neumann TLM102 This is the audio interface Eddie Roll UA25 And this is the Macbook, this is the laptop that we are using We are using two cables here for this setup First of all it's an XLR cable that connecting between the microphone and the audio interface And we have a USB cable that connecting the audio interface and the laptop Let's now describe the signal flow first in recording session and afterward in the playback session. So in the recording session we will have a singer that put his voice into a microphone. We will have pressure of air going to the microphone becoming an analog sound voltage information which are going via the XLR cable into the audio interface. There we will have first of all to amplify the sound to have it louder and then to convert the sound from analog information to digital information. Digital information is binary information presented by 1 and 0 what our computer can understand. This will be moved from the audio interface via a USB cable to our laptop and here via a DAW sequencer we can record push the button record and capture the digital information in an audio track okay let's see now the signal flow via the playback so we would like to play what we record we will push the button play the signal this time will go this direction so the digital information the binary information will go this time from the sequencer from the computer to our audio interface here it will be converted this time the opposite from digital to audio and the audio information we can listen to them via line out because we need the information to go out and we can monitor or by headphones or by any kind of monitors loudspeakers Ok, before we will connect the XLR cable, we will make sure that the gain input of the signal coming from the microphone is down as much as we can. Due to the fact that we are using a condenser microphone in our setup, we will make sure that the phantom power, this is the function that amplifying the signal from the microphone, we will make sure that it switch off before we connecting the cable. That's it. This was the session about recording signal flow. I hope you enjoyed the session and you have a bit more understanding about it. And start recording and have fun. Ciao!